Hi, my name is Tony. I'm from LandShack.com. And today I'm going to show you how simple it is to install a factory pre-terminated multi-strand fiber optic cable, aka fiber webs, from point A to point B. Here's one of our Quicktrex custom-made fiber webs, which we will install in a warehouse. Some people prefer to install an inner duct first, but this is not required and is strictly a personal preference. So we will run our cable exposed. Fiber cable is very durable and not fragile as some may think. It's a good idea to use Velcro cable ties to fasten the fiber. The soft Velcro ties are preferred because they do not cause sharp bends in the fiber as compared with vinyl cable ties. So now we'll proceed to continue to fasten the fiber across the warehouse using Velcro cable ties. Okay, now we're going to show you how to remove a pulling basket from a pre-terminated assembly. We take our wire surgeon Kevlar cutting scissors and we'll proceed to cut off the hook on the end of the pulling basket. Now that we've cut off the hook on the end of the pulling basket, we do have to now remove the heat shrink tubing that holds the pulling basket on. So we're going to use a razor knife and we're going to do that very, very gently. Now we've removed most of the pulling basket. We've removed the, the outer sheath of it. And now inside we have the Kevlar member, which in this case is uh, covered with some black tape, which we're gonna cut. We'll cut it flush with the end of the, uh, where the cables meet. And now, all we have left is some plastic wrap, which protect the connectors from contaminants. And we could uh, just pull that off pretty, pretty easily. When you order a termination box, you need to order adapter panels. An adapter panel is simply a metal strip with passive fiber optic couplers. Since our cable is terminated with SC connectors, we are going to use SC adapter panels. Now we will snap the adapter panel into the box. Okay, I'm going to coil about five feet of cable inside of the box. Now to plug in the connectors into the adapter panel. We'll start from the top down, going blue, orange, green, brown, slate, and white. Now we'll proceed to remove the seals on the inside of the couplers. One at a time, I'm going to remove the protective cap from the end of each connector, starting with the blue at the top and plugging it into the coupler. Next is the orange, followed by the green, brown, slate, and finally white. Now that we have the cable installed from one end of the warehouse to the other, uh, we are going to take this end and terminate it into a rack mount termination box. I usually like to leave about two, maybe three turns of cable inside of the box, like such. Now we're ready to plug them in, starting again with blue, orange, green, brown, slate, and white. Now that the fiber is installed from end to end, uh, and just to make sure we did everything correctly and everything worked out correct, uh, we're going to do a quick flashlight test on it. It's multi-mode cable, so a uh, flashlight light should pass through it easily, uh, unlike single mode, which you would need a much stronger light source for. But uh, we're going to use this uh, LED flashlight, and we're going to shine light into uh, each of these six fibers, one, of, one at a time. 
from the top down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we have it, a complete installation in about an hour. Landshark.com has been making and selling custom pre-terminated multi-strand fiber optic cable, aka fiber whips, for 14 years on the internet with a virtual 100% success rate. In the past two years, we developed the brand QuickTrex to further bolster our quality assurance to you, our valuable customer. Please remember Landshark.com for all of your cabling infrastructure needs.